Hello and welcome back to another exciting chess game. Ladies and gentlemen, this one was played in 2023 at FIDE Grand Swiss Tournament and it was played between Hans Mocke Niemann playing as white and his opponent Richard Rapport. And what is so interesting about this game is that Hans Mocke Niemann played this game with 100% accuracy. So Hans Mocke Niemann playing his best chess and he really knows his openings. So let me know your thoughts, of course, about his perfect performance. I always enjoy reading your comments. And without further ado, we will go straight to this amazing game. Hans Mocke Niemann opened the game with d4. We have d5, c4 and c6 on the board. We are in Slav defense. Game continued with knight to f3 for white. Knight f6 for black and right now we have e3 played by Hans Mocke Niemann. Now another way to play this chest opening is actually playing knight c3 here so actually leaving this pawn and after d takes on c4 firstly we have a4 for white with the idea to block this pawn push and the protection of this c4 pawn. Then after bishop f5 white would continue with e3 and after e6 bishop would take on c4 and black would continue with bishop b4 and this is the modern variation of this chess opening but Hans Niemann decided to play e3 game continued with bishop f5 we have a knight to c3 and we have e6 played for black we continue by knight h4 for white attacking this bishop Bishop retreats to g6, a better square if the trade happens, of course. And we have queen to b3 right now, played by Hans Mocke Niemann. Hans Mocke Niemann aims at this pawn. Richard Rapport plays queen c7 to defend this pawn. And we have bishop to d2, played for Hans Mocke Niemann. We have knight to e4, now offering the trade of these knights. Of course, knight taking on e4 was played in the game. Just to show you that taking this uh, bishop on g6 was not a good idea because white would lose the right to castle because he will pick up this uh, bishop with the attack on this queen and he would be forced to pick up this knight. So knight to e4 was played by Hans Mocke Niemann. We have bishop to e4 and we have c takes on d5 played for white. We have bishop to d5 played for black. Right now this queen is under attack and white decided to play bishop c4 to protect from this threat. We have bishop to e7 developing his bishop and also attacking Niemann's knight. Niemann retreats this knight to f3. We have a knight to d7 played for black and we have queen to c2 played by Hans Mocke Niemann. Knight to f6 right now rerouting his knight and we have bishop to d3 by Hans Mocke Niemann with the idea to control this square on e4. Game continued with bishop picking up on f3. So right now Richard Rapport decided that it is best for him to destroy the pawn structure of white. G picks up on f3 and knight to d5 was played for black. White continues with a3. His idea is to block knight b4 and then the threat of picking up bishop's pair by black. We have castle queen side for black, castle queen side for white and we have g5 now on the board for black. White continues with king to b1. Black plays king to b8 and we have rook to c1 right now taking the advantage of this semi-open file. Right now black plays h6 to protect this pawn and we have queen to b3 right now played for Hans Mocke Niemann already creating some sorts of threats with bishop to a6 and also putting this king on the x-ray. That is the reason Richard Rapport plays king a8 and we have bishop to c4 right now played for white. Queen to d7 for black, we have bishop to a5 right now attacking this rook and we have rook to c8 played by black. Game continued with rook h to d1 for white, we have bishop to d8 offering the trade of bishops. For now Hans Mocke Niemann refuses, he plays bishop to e1, we have bishop to c7 right now attacking this pawn, that is the reason why h3 is played and we have rook h to d8 played for black. Game continued with a4 for white, we have bishop to b8 played for black, we have bishop a5 right now played for white attacking this rook. Again, bishop c7 with the same idea to offer a trade. Again, Hans Mokenima refuses. We have again bishop to b8. It's almost like the position is gonna repeat itself, but king a1 was played for white. We have queen to e7 played by black. We have bishop to a5 with the same idea attacking this rook, bishop to c7. And again, Hans Mokenima refuses to trade the bishops. We have bishop to b8 for black. And right now, Hans Mokenima decided to play rook to c2 with the idea to double up these rooks on this c file. We have bishop to d6 right now played for black and we have bishop a5 again attacking this rook. Rook moves to e8 and we have e4 on the board right now attacking this knight. Knight goes on f4 and we have bishop to f1 because right now this pawn was attacked by black. 
We have bishop to c7, again offering the trade, and again Hans Mokeniman refuses this trade and he plays a bishop to b4 right now attacking this queen. Queen to d7 was played for black and we have a5 on the board played for white. Black continues with a6 to try and block the advantage of this pawn and right now Hans Mokeniman finds a really good move and that move is bishop c5, he leaves this pawn free for taking. Taking this pawn is not a good idea because after bishop takes on a5, after queen a3 and attacking this bishop, queen c7 for black, b4, bishop b6 and rook to a2 for white, king has to go on b8 and white has an attack on the king's wing for one pawn and white has the advantage of almost one point in this position so it's gonna be hard for black to defend from the attack of white so that is the reason why after bishop to c5 and sacrificing this pawn black plays rook c to d8 now this move is fine but also rook to b8 was perfectly fine as well we have rook d to c1 played for white and right now richard rapport makes a huge mistake he actually decided to pick up this pawn thinking that there is nothing here for white but there is firstly queen to a4 by hans niemann queen c7 and we have a b4 attacking this bishop we have bishop to b6 and right now hans moke niemann finds an amazing sacrifice and that is bishop takes on a6 after this move king decided to go on b8 i will now show you why this was the best so after b takes on a6 after bishop takes on b6 firstly queen takes on b6 we have a rook takes on c6 and white is completely winning this game so of course after bishop taking on a6 you cannot pick up this bishop you have to go king b8 which was played in the game we have rook to a2 right now doubling these two pieces and right now richard rapport decided to sacrifice his rook in the attempt to protect his position with desperate move a rook takes on d4 uh, of course i will now go back and show you something else here so after rook a2 if you decide to go b takes on a6 after queen takes on a6 and queen a7 queen takes on b6 first queen picks up on b6 and bishop takes on b6 after rook on d7 we have rook to c3 with the idea to double up these rooks and after knight takes on h3 of course sacrificing this pawn we have rook c to a3 and again overwhelming attack and overwhelming advantage for white so again taking this bishop is not a good option here after rook takes on d4 hans mokeniman finds another great move and that is bishop to b5 with a simple idea to give checkmate on the next move of course richard rapport sees this and he plays king to c8 we have bishop takes on b6 right now queen takes on b6 and bishop takes on c6 another great move by hans mokeniman of course taking this bishop is not an option because rook will take and you will lose your queen so we have a knight to d3 right now counter-attacking by black his last attempt to protect this position and smokiniman continues with queen a8 check king c7 and bishop takes on e8 with a check a discovered check from this rook we have knight picking up on c1 for black for now the material is equal but white has a much much better position because his king is way worse than white's king so we have firstly rook to c2 check a really nice move again by hans mokeniman a double attack on this knight and also giving check for this king we have king to d6 queen b8 check right now you cannot put your queen there because it will fall we have king to e7 and after rook c7 richard report decided to resign the game because he is simply losing now one of the ways to continue the game of course is to sacrifice your queen which is the recommended move then after queen takes on c7 king will pick up this bishop but white will pick up black's knight and this is a clearly won end game for white after rook takes on c7 and a check we have another option that this king can maybe go on f6 but then rook takes on f7 check and after the only remaining move king g6 rook takes on b7 with a discovered attack and discover check on this king and also attack on this queen and after king f6 black queen will fall and it's a game over for richard rapport and this is how this game ended and this is all i have prepared for you today guys if you enjoyed this game please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video with other people who enjoy chess because word of mouth referrals like this really help my channel grow also if you wish you can support my channel you can donate to my paypal i will leave the link in the description of this video or you can become a channel member each and every new donation is much appreciated guys and will be listed on my screen so you will see your name in my future videos of course if you decide to support me in this way and as always guys i would like to hear your opinion about this game have i missed something in the analysis did you enjoy watching this game do you like how hans niemann solved this game and managed to create this 
this amazing attack. Or if you wish to comment about anything else, please let me know what do you think about Hans Niemann's chess career. Do you think he has some help or he's on his own uh, playing against these grandmasters? Do let me know. People are speculating, but I think he's a really, really good chess player, whatever you think of him. So I always enjoy watching his games as well, guys. So yeah, that was all. Thank you so much for your attention and we will see each other in the next video. I wish you a pleasant night. Bye bye.